Hey very fish fans and fish tech ninjas. Thanks for checking out the channel. Um, just want to make sure you guys know. I got 150 videos down in the playlist, so check up, be sure to check them out. Let's do it. Today I want to talk about uh, my fish room. Today I came down and I saw noticed some of my air wasn't really pumping the way it should be. Um, I have half of my fish room is on a sump system, my rack, and about half, the other half is on uh, air, uh, mat and filters all being pushed by a centralized uh, air system. I'll do another video on that, but I had an Alita. I have an Alita AL60, it's a fairly great pump work, and I just noticed that it's not pushing the air way way it should be. So I just quickly removed it, and I'm gonna see if I can figure out what's going on. So I realized early on, if I ever had a problem with my air pump, my central air pump, I'd be in a load of trouble because half my tanks would die. And so what I did is over the, over the uh, time, I picked up another air, central air filter. This is a Mito LA80BN. Don't really know much about that model number, but uh, I picked it up uh, from a guy who was selling it as a spare because you know in the fish keeping world there's something's going to happen you always got to be prepared especially when you have a a, a sizable fish room you want to be uh, uh prepared if, if something strikes so right now i'm going to try to f right now my fish room have my fish room has no air to it so i'm going to try to fix the al and if i can't i'm going to swap in my spare when I took the pump down, it was really hot. I couldn't figure out what was going on. So the first thing I'm going to do, I got to act work quickly because, uh, you know, I got no air in my fish room. I'm going to take the top off and see what's happening. Ha! Oh, there you go. I think I figured it out. My air filter is clogged. So what I'm going to do is first uh, take this off. Let's see what it is. I haven't never taken this apart before. Clean this out clean the filter out as you can see look this is probably about five years or six years of dust so I think this is the source of my problem so I quickly rinse this the filter air filter in water it's like any kind of filter pad no big deal and immediately no I blew it clean immediately I, when I plugged it in I could I'm gonna do that before I even put the filter pad in I immediately knew, felt the the difference in air pressure coming through coming out the uh, you can't see this obviously but I immediately felt the air pressure difference so I think this is going to resolve my problem so I'm just going to set it in place I have a little shelf that I built really sturdy uh, made it for easy maintenance pump sits on here it connects through a little manifold with a clamp clamp squeeze I don't know what you call those and it's connected right into the main line which is one inch PVC through a standard uh, T connector Put it on here. You can see that. Clamp it down. Now I'll go plug, plug it in. So I plugged it in again, connected it all up. Still running a little hot. Let me go check all the tanks. So I just checked the tanks. It's not pushing enough air. Time for the replacement. So I put the other new uh, replacement pump in place, but my connection's not, not right. So I'm gonna have to do some uh, uh, work to make the connection fit. I don't want to bust this up because I'm going to replace the AL60. I'm going to re probably have to rebuild it and probably a new video for that as well. So let's 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 fix this and make this work. So look, I have some extra parts. When I bought the pump, I said I got to have extra parts to connect it because when you have an emergency, you never know. So I constructed a new connector tube and I'm going to connect it in right here and then fit it. We dry fitted it. Perfectly. And then make sure it's uh, tight so the connections don't slip. Nice and snug. The so pump's a little bit bigger than the other one, so it should push a lot of air. We'll go pl plug it in. There it is in place. And this is powering. It goes around the whole entire fish room. 
just a big old square. So to give you an idea of what kind of flow rate we get in here, look at this. This is a 40 breeder with uh, Swiss Tropicals, jet lifters on them. It's just amazing. It just looks like a power, power head. I'll show you another one of my deep tanks. So here's one of my 75s with a matten filter on it. Look at the flow rate. It's just great. So it turns out that it looks like I'm going to have to uh, rebuild the AL-16, the Alita AL-16. This is a great pump. But it's been working for like probably seven years nonstop with no issues, no problems. Uh, and that's, I guess, you know, you always have to be prepared. That's why I got this other pump. I didn't want to have a disaster strike with not being able to pump air throughout the whole fish room. So remember, rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my social media. I love to hear your comments. And make sure you share this video with anybody who is a fish geek or a fish ninja.